Hey guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And in this video, I'm talking about all the best power behind the ear hearing aids in 2024. Coming up. Well, it's a new year and you know what that means? A new series of videos where I talk about which hearing aids are the best. Well, in this video, I'll be talking about the best power behind the ear hearing aids in 2024. You should really check out all of the other videos in my series where I'm talking about the best receiver and canal hearing aids, the best invisible hearing aids, the best Bluetooth hearing aids, and the best over-the-counter hearing aids of 2024 as well. So now if you have a severe to profound level hearing loss, you know that it is extremely important to find the best hearing aid for you. It's also worth noting that upgrading hearing aid technology from an old power behind the ear hearing aid to a new power behind the ear hearing aid is much more difficult to do, especially since you're so accustomed to how your older devices sound. Just remember that as long as your new power behind the ear hearing aids are fit and programmed properly by a hearing care professional, you will eventually get better performance out of them once you adapt to that new sound. I should also mention that if you are wearing power behind the ear hearing aids and you're not getting that much benefit from them, you may actually want to consider a cochlear implant instead. I will link a few of my cochlear implant videos down in the description if you'd like to learn more about cochlear implants and the candidacy criteria to qualify for one. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the best power behind the ear hearing aids of 2024. And this is in no particular order, but we will be starting with the Starkey Evolve AI2400 Power Plus BTE. Starkey's Power Plus BTE hearing aids as of this recording are still one generation behind the Genesis AI line of device Devices, but that doesn't mean that these aren't amazing power behind the ear hearing aids. This hearing aid comes in five different technology levels. You have the 2400, you have the 2000, you have the 1600, you have the 1200, and finally the 1000 level. But the premium offering from Starkey is the 2400. It uses a size 13 battery, so you're not going to get as much battery life from a size 675 disposable battery, but it does keep the size of the hearing aid a little bit smaller, which is nicer for smaller ears. And it also has an IP68 rating, which means that it is highly resistant to dust and moisture. The good news is you do not have to sacrifice the power for the reduced size. As you can see, the fitting range of this hearing aid can accommodate up to profound levels of hearing loss with an output capability of 140 decibels SPL with 80 decibels of amplification that can be added to an incoming sound. Starkey is also really well known for their custom ear molds. So if you go with a hard acrylic ear mold or a soft silicone ear mold, they should both be excellent in terms of fit and acoustics. Because after all, you could have the best power behind the ear hearing aid in the world, but if you mess up the ear mold, it completely destroys the performance of the entire device. And yes, Starkey does accept 3D digital ear scans from your hearing care professional to ensure that they get a really good fit. Starkey has improved upon the noise reduction capabilities of the Evolve AI line of devices, including the Power Plus BTE. They now have an ability to reduce background noise by an additional 40 Starkey has also improved their edge mode feature, which uses artificial intelligence to help with speech understanding as well as reduce listening effort. When edge mode is activated, it increases speech understanding by an additional 12% for BTE users in edge mode versus the normal memory. And it reduces listening effort from 5.2 to 4.5 on a scale of 7 while edge mode is used as well. Several additional features that Starkey has inside of these hearing aids is a telequill for you to use inside side of a public venue or to use on a landline phone. And these are technically made for iPhone hearing aids, so of course they are compatible with Apple devices, but they use an ASHA Bluetooth protocol as well, which means that they're compatible with Android devices. Not only does this Bluetooth allow you to stream audio directly from your smartphone or tablet directly into your hearing aids, but it also gives you access to the Starkey Thrive app. This app allows you to do several things, including changing between different programs and volume levels, and even customizing your own programs. You can also set up fall alerts so if you happen to fall the motion sensor inside of the hearing aids will notify someone on your contact list that you set up. You can use Telehear to have a remote programming session with your hearing care professional and you can set up custom reminders to clean your hearing aids, remind you of other medical appointments that you may have, and remind you to take your medications. And of course something that everybody with severe to profound levels of hearing loss should consider are the assistive listening devices and accessories of a particular hearing aid. 
aid. Individuals with this level of hearing loss typically need every single advantage they can get to improve their signal to noise ratio and to improve the sound quality of what they're listening to. And one of the absolute best ways to accomplish both of these things is to use these accessories that have direct audio input. Fortunately, Starkey has a variety of different accessories, including a TV streamer, a remote control, remote microphone plus, mini remote microphone, and table microphone. All of these devices interact wirelessly with your Power Plus BTE hearing aids from Starkey, and it can help you stream audio from a variety of different things directly into your ears to cut down the distance that sound has to travel before you get to hear it. Of course, this helps substantially in a background noise situation, and it improves clarity of things like the TV. In fact, one thing that I encourage every single power behind the ear hearing aid user to do when they get a new pair of hearing aids is to request that their hearing care professional let them demo these different accessories because I promise you they will blow your mind. Overall, the Starkey Evolve AI2400 Power Plus BTE hearing aids are fantastic hearing aids for individuals with severe to profound levels of hearing loss and definitely should be devices that you consider if you're going to upgrade your hearing aid technology here in 2024. Now, I mentioned this a little bit before, but treating severe to profound levels of hearing loss requires really good hearing aids, but it also requires a hearing care professional who understands the complexities of treating this type of hearing loss. And that means that you need to find a hearing care professional who follows comprehensive audiologic best practices. Best practices are a series of considerations and procedures that must be completed in order for you to maximize the performance of your devices. Unfortunately, less than 30% of hearing care professionals actually follow these best practices, which means that the majority of individuals who wear hearing aids do not experience the full benefit of them. But if you would like an easy way to find a hearing care professional who does follow these comprehensive best practices, make sure that you check out my website, hearingup.com, and find a Hearing Up Network member near you. Hearing Up members have been vetted and are committed to following these best practices to get every last percentage point of performance out of your power behind the ear hearing aids to ensure that you can hear your absolute best. That being said, the second hearing aid on this list of best power behind the ear hearing aids of 2024 is the Phonak Naid Illumity 90. The Phonak Naid Illumity technically comes in two different styles. You have the power behind the ear device that is rechargeable and an ultra power behind the ear device that uses a size 675 battery. Of course, the rechargeable version is a bit smaller than the size 675 disposable battery version. Both of them come in four different technology levels. You have level 90, level 70, level 50, and level 30, with level 90 being their premium offering. The Naid Illumity PR can fit up to a moderately severe level of hearing loss with a 130 decibel sound pressure level output and 68 decibels of gain, assuming that you are using an ear hook with size 13 tubing. The ultra power version of this hearing aid can fit up to a profound level of hearing loss with a 141 decibel SPL output level and 84 decibels of gain that can be added to an incoming signal. Two other differences between these two different models of Naid Illumity devices is that the size 675 battery version actually has a telecoil in it, whereas the PR version, the rechargeable version, does not have a telecoil. However, the rechargeable version is also compatible with the Lumity cross transmitter. So if you have single-sided deafness, you have an option with the rechargeable version of this Naida Lumity. Not only does Phonak make some excellent custom ear molds for the receiver and canal line of devices, but they also make some really good custom ear molds for their BTE devices, and I am happy to say that they now accept 3D digital ear scans from your hearing care professional. The Naida Lumity also has what Phonak calls their smart speech technologies. These include speech sensor, speech enhancer, stereo zoom 2.0, dynamic noise cancellation, motion sensor hearing, and of course, Roger Direct, which allows for a direct connection with their Roger microphone accessories. Now, if you would like to learn more about each of these features in greater detail, make sure that you check out my full review video of this particular hearing aid that I will link in the description. Essentially, all of these features enhance your ability to hear in background noise as well as hear soft talkers. Both versions of the Naida Lumity hearing aids use Bluetooth Classic, which make these devices more universally connectable than any other device on this list. This form of Bluetooth Classic 
Classic allows you to pair your Naida Lumity hearing aids with up to eight different devices at one time with two concurrent connections at one time. And pretty much every other device out there as of this time right now uses Bluetooth Classic. So I don't care if you have an Apple device or an Android device or a tablet or a laptop or a desktop, you can pretty much connect to anything. And if you wanna talk on the phone using your Naida Lumity hearing aids, you can simply just answer the phone call on the hearing aid itself. You don't even have to have your phone out and on you because there's two-way audio where your hearing aid picks up your voice and sends it to the person on the other end of the line. I will also say that when it comes to customizability of the Bluetooth audio stream, Phonak has a much more precise ability to customize this audio. So whether you're listening to music, speech media, phone calls, or any of your other wireless accessories, your hearing care professional can customize the audio of every single one of those separately. This essentially gives you the ability to control the sound quality and make it as good as you want it to be when you're streaming audio. The Naida Lumity hearing aids also technically use Bluetooth Low Energy to connect up with the My Phonex smartphone app that now has a 4.4 star rating inside of the Google Play Store. And that's probably because Phonex has committed a lot of time and energy to update this app over the years. This app is similar to other hearing aid apps as it allows you to adjust between different programs and volume levels, as well as customize the audio of your Phonak Naida Lumity hearing aids and save these changes as custom programs. You can also activate and deactivate different wireless accessories and have remote programming sessions with your hearing care professional from the comfort of your own home. AutoSense OS 5.0 is also one of my favorite programs because it automatically detects the environment that you're in and shifts your hearing aids into program settings that are most ideal for that environment. For instance, if you're sitting at home in your quiet living room, your hearing aid is going to be picking up sound from 360 degrees without a whole lot of noise reduction built in. But then if you decide you wanna to go to a restaurant, you hop in the car, it switches you to a speech in car program to help in that environment. And then when you get to the restaurant, it switches you into a speech in loud noise or speech in noise program to accommodate for whatever level of noise is in that restaurant. And yes, it does all of this automatically for you. I will say though that some individuals with severe to profound levels of hearing hearing loss do not like this automatic switching capability of the Naida Lumity hearing aids, but that's okay. If you do not like it, your hearing care professional can completely deactivate it for you. Phonak also has some of the best wireless accessories out there. They have their partner mic, their remote control, and their TV connector that allows you to stream audio from your TV into both of your ears, but they also have their Roger microphones, which are amazing. You have the Roger on IN version two, you have the Roger select IN, and you have the Roger Table Mic 2. These Roger devices are extremely versatile, whether you want to use them as pointing microphones, lapel microphones, or table microphones, they all have multifunctional use. Another crazy thing about these microphones is that you can control them separately inside of a different app called the My Roger Mic app. So again, if you are going to get these hearing aids, I would highly recommend that you ask your hearing care professional to at least demo these different Roger microphones for you. That being said, if you have a moderately severe to profound level of hearing loss, you would be absolutely crazy not to consider the Phonak Naida Lumity power behind the ear hearing aids here in 2024. Mm -hmm. Another thing that you would be crazy not to do is click the like button. It really helps out my channel and it encourages me to make more videos just like this one. I've essentially been making this video series for the past seven years talking about the best hearing aids every single year. So if you want to show me a little bit of love, that would go a long way. Also, please make sure to hit that subscribe button with notification bell because that will give you a notification every single time I publish a new video. And if you know me by now, you know that I publish a ton of new videos every single week. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and continue on with our list of best power behind the ear hearing aids here in 2024. And third on the list is the Oticon Exceed 1 BTE. The Oticon Exceed has two different power levels. You have the super power and the ultra power. They both come in three different technology levels. You have the Exceed 1, the Exceed 2, and the Exceed 3, and the Exceed Exceed 1 is the premium offering for Moticon. The Superpower Exceed uses a size 13 battery and has a maximum output of 143 decibels SPL with a max gain of 83 decibels that can be added to an incoming signal, making it suitable for individuals with a severe to profound level of hearing loss with thresholds up to 110 decibels. The Ultra Power Exceed uses a 675 disposable battery and is the most
most powerful hearing aid on the planet with a maximum output of 146 decibels SPL and 87 decibels of gain, which is absolutely crazy and suitable for individuals with severe to profound levels of hearing loss with thresholds up to 120 decibels. So if you happen to be one of those power junkies out there and you know what I'm talking about, then these hearing aids are for you. Just like all the other hearing aid manufacturers on this list, Oticon also makes some really good custom ear molds and yes, they also accept 3D digital ear scans. So some people are not going to agree with me by putting these hearing aids on the list because they do technically use older technology. The Exceed Power BTE hearing aids are still on the Velox S chip platform, so it was not trained with the deep neural network like the Oticon More and the Oticon Real receiver in canal hearing aids were. However, Oticon still uses their open sound navigator inside of these devices, which keeps your listening landscape open without giving you the blinder effect that a lot of hearing aids give you when you go into background noise, which reduces your situational awareness. I've also found that the noise reduction capabilities of these particular hearing aids are not as robust as other brands that are out there on the market, but that's actually a positive thing for a lot of individuals with a severe to profound level of hearing loss, because if you give them too much noise reduction, they end up not liking that because they feel like they lose situational awareness as well. The Oticon Exceed BTE hearing aids, just like all the other hearing aids on this list, also have an IP68 rating, which makes them extremely resistant to debris as well as moisture. Now these hearing aids are full on made for iPhone devices when it comes to Bluetooth streaming. So if you have an Apple iPhone or an Apple iPad, you're in luck. You can stream audio directly from that device into both of your ears. But if you're an Android user, you're basically screwed. Okay, so you're not screwed. You can technically use an accessory to get that audio streaming from an Android device into your ears. It's just a pain in the butt to have to use a streaming accessory. That 2.4 gigahertz Bluetooth connection with your Apple device not only allows for Bluetooth streaming, but it also allows you to connect with the Oticon companion app. Now, if you're an old school user of this particular hearing aid, the companion app basically replaced the Oticon on app. This app allows you to adjust between different programs programs and volume levels and customize an equalizer for live speech or streamed audio and have remote programming sessions with your hearing care professional. You also get compatibility with an Apple Watch to use as a remote control if you don't want to break out your phone. Now, if I'm being honest, which I intend to do inside of these videos and all of my other hearing aid review videos, these are not the best hearing aids for you if Bluetooth connectivity is your top priority and if you're an Android user with no intention of switching over to the Apple line of devices. As far as assistive listening devices and accessories go, you have a good amount of options. You have the Connect Clip, you have the Remote Control 3.0, the TV Adapter 3.0, the Phone Adapter 2.0, and their Amigo FM system, and their EduMic. Another thing that I really like is that Oticon gives you compatibility with their cross transmitter. So if you have single-sided deafness, you can use these hearing aids as well. Okay, so the Oticon Exceed Super Power and Ultra Power hearing aids are not the newest devices out there on the market, but considering that they are the most powerful hearing aids out there on the market, they definitely deserve a spot on this year's list of best power behind the ear hearing aids in 2024. Now, before I move on to the fourth hearing aid on this list, it's important that you know that just like all of the other hearing aid review videos on my channel, none of my best best hearing aid videos are ever sponsored. If a hearing aid finds its way into one of my best hearing aid videos, it's because it earned its way there, not because they paid it to be there. That being said, the fourth hearing aid on this year's list of best power BTE hearing aids in 2024 is the Resound Omnia 9 Power BTE. The Resound Omnia Power BTE hearing aid comes in three different technology levels. You have level nine, level seven, and level five, with level nine being their premium offering. Something that's rather unique about the Omnia BTE hearing aid from Resound is that they have either a plastic ear hook or a metal ear hook. And no, it has nothing to do with the durability of the ear hook. It has everything to do with the acoustic characteristics of the ear hook. Both ear hooks give you a maximum output of 140 decibels SPL, but the plastic ear hook gets you up to 75 decibels of gain, and the metal ear hook gets you up to 80 decibels of gain. So if you're looking for just a little bit more amplification added to an incoming signal, 
original, you can go ahead and switch from a plastic ear hook to a metal ear hook. In fact, here is the fitting range for the plastic ear hook, which accommodates up to 105 decibel hearing loss thresholds. And here is the fitting range for the metal ear hook, which accommodates up to 110 decibel hearing thresholds. The Resound Omnia Power BTE hearing aids only come in a rechargeable battery form factor, but this lithium ion battery will get you up to 24 hours of battery life on a single charge. And the greatest thing is, is that this particular BTE hearing aid is loaded with all of the same great features that you can find inside of the Resound Omnia receiver and canal line of devices, except for the Marie receiver, because you have to use a custom ear mold on these hearing aids. And yes, just like all of the other Power BTE hearing aid brands on this list, Resound does also accept 3D digital ear scans from your hearing care professional. The Omnia Power BTE also uses the new front focus program that provides an additional four and a half decibel signal to noise ratio improvement over the previous generation Resound One Ultra Focus program, which is massive. From a connectivity standpoint, these are made for iPhone hearing aids, but not only can you connect with Apple devices using that Bluetooth low energy protocol, you also have the Asha Bluetooth protocol to connect with Android devices. Unfortunately, these hearing aids are not equipped with Bluetooth low energy audio that Resound uses inside of their new Nexia line of hearing aids. However, the direct connectivity that you do get with these forms of Bluetooth allows you to have access to the Resound Smart 3D app. Now, this app has not really been updated a whole lot in a while, but it is one of the highest rated apps inside of the Google Play Store as well as the Apple App Store. Just like all of the other hearing aid apps, you can change between different programs, activate different accessories and digital features, and change your volume levels. You can also have a remote programming session with your hearing care professional from the comfort of your own home. It is also compatible with the Apple Watch, so if you want to use your watch to control the functionality of your hearing aids, you can do that without having to break out your phone. Resound also has some really nice accessories, including the multi-mic, the micro mic, the TV streamer 2, the phone clip plus, and the remote control. Resound has really done a nice job keeping up with technological advancements inside of their behind the ear line of devices, not just the receiver and canal devices, which definitely earns the Resound Omnia Power BTE hearing aids a spot on this year's list. And there you go. Those are what I believe to be the best power behind the ear hearing aids here in 2024. Let me go ahead and give you a quick recap. And remember, this is in no particular order. First, we had the Starkey Evolve AI2400 Power Plus BTE. Second, we had the Phonak Naida Lumity 90 PR and UP BTE hearing aids. Third, we had the Oticon Exceed 1 Super Power and Ultra Power BTE hearing aids. And fourth, we had the Resound Omnia 9 Power BTE hearing aid. Now I have to say this again, because sometimes when I say it early in the video, you do not remember, but it does not matter how awesome any one of these hearing aids are, unless you have a hearing care professional who can fit and program them following best practices. Now I'm gonna finish this video by giving you a little bit of a pro tip. Typically, power behind the ear hearing aids lag in technological advancement a little bit behind receiver and canal technology. But you may not be aware that individuals with severe to profound levels of hearing loss can actually utilize a power, super power, or ultra power receiver on the end of a receiver and canal hearing aid. Meaning that even if you have a profound level of hearing loss, you could potentially be using a receiver and canal device and get the same amount of benefit that you could using a power behind the ear device. Of course, there are other considerations that go into this, including the health of your actual ear canal, because if you have a draining ear, you typically don't want to use a receiver and canal device for that type of ear. But if you attempt to use a receiver and canal hearing aid with the appropriate power receiver inside of your ear, and you're actually able to meet your prescriptive targets verified with real ear measurement, you could get away with using a receiver and canal hearing aid. And just like all of the other hearing aid styles out there, hearing aid technology gets better and better year after year. So if you have severe to profound levels of hearing loss and you're looking to upgrade your hearing aid technology, 2024 could be the best year to do it.